back. We're working on the new office, the previous princess room. So of course we're downstairs in the dining room. Good reason for this. Apparently the entirety of upstairs funnels through that box up there. All the wires. There are 28 pot lights, six-ish outlets, and one chandelier, all on the same circuit wired with a 14 gauge wire protected by a 20 amp circuit breaker. I lost track of how many code violations that was. Plan moving forward is office, outlets, own circuit breaker, other side, two rooms, its own circuit breaker, and all the lights upstairs on their own circuit breaker, and then this room's lights on its own circuit breaker. So I'm just gonna pop this down, undo all this, the wires, and see if I can't figure out which ones are going where. I wasn't kidding when I said this is the uh, central hub for all the wiring upstairs. Well, leave the sand there down for a couple weeks as we work on anything else. Three separate circuits coming off of this thing. Well, I'll give them credit, credit is due. They made certain that this was not going to fall out whenever they installed this. So I'm guessing it was the original owners when they put power in here. Yeah, another fun thing about old houses is sometimes they have two wire wire, two conductor wire, without a ground. And it looks like this box is bonded by putting another wire up here, but it's actually connected to the ground, I don't know. for upstairs. <laughs> Remember, ground wires were optional back in the day. Actually, didn't have them, period. <sighs> okay. Now I gotta try to figure out what goes where. All right, friends, so I gotta figure out what's going where, and I'm gonna do that off camera because of OSHA reasons. So the use of my handy snifter, I have determined that this guy is the main line of power coming into the room. This one is likely the one that just does a loop down with the switch and back. This guy's obviously just ground wire and this one is for the new lights which leaves these two for circuits around the house which I don't know what. But let's get to labeling. plan is to hopefully restore power to that side of the house while keeping the new office powered off so we can work on getting it wired up. Uh, to start that, I'm going to presume that the one that kind of bends off in that direction is for that side of the house. Uh, so. 
so what we're gonna do is take the main power line, twist them together, particularly well, with enough uh, for testing purposes, because I wanna hook up the lights in here again. Now we get to go on a field trip. It's upstairs, you can see we restore power to the lights in the office, the lights in what was formerly known as the cat pee room what would have been the princess room. And what will be undisclosed room, I don't know if we mentioned it yet or not. The question is then, where did that line go? Do I still have power up here? Is the world's sketchiest outlet actually alive? Well, that's nice. Two wires, no ground, no wire clamp. Wasn't secure in the wall in the slightest. But at least it's only got two prongs. Gotta love it. So it honestly seems like that one wire only services this outlet over here. Which is actually really great because that means I can pull that out and it's no longer a hazard. But we can still have light in this room. Uh, I feel a lot safer because that's no longer there. You also happen to own an old home and wonder why is electricians cost so much? This is why. Nothing's ever easy in an old home. Alright. So we successfully restored power to the rest of the house, got rid of the sketchiest that was in the house. There's some close seconds. We'll get to them too. And um, we're just gonna leave this like this because it's gonna be a work in progress. It's well out of the way of even me, so I'm confident no one's gonna get it.